Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. What I've noticed with Boo is that he does have a bit of a harder time picking up food, I think because those front teeth are missing. He relies much more on his tongue to pick up the food than the other cats do. Like, even with the sardines, when I give the sardines to Simba, he has no problem just picking it up into his mouth right away and eating it. Whereas for Boo, it takes him several tries, and he definitely relies much more on his tongue. So, you know, for all the people who say, oh, it doesn't matter if, you know, they lose their teeth. Well, it definitely affects their ability to eat. I've noticed it even with just a few of the front teeth gone on Boo. I'm using the last of the fall paper plates for breakfast today because it's technically still fall. I'm trying something new with the food today. The cats are getting four scoops of the homemade raw food. So that's one scoop per cat. And then I have two of the Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets. So that's like half of a raw rabbit nugget per cat. And what I did was I mixed them all together um, and then I added water. So it's a new food mixture for them. This is like chicken and rabbit. So let's see how they like it. Stella's a hungry girl because she doesn't like the sardines. So she's eating hers right away. And Simba wants to see what's over here. Simba, there's three other plates. Simba, everyone has their own plate. We want to share with you, Mommy, but you have your own plate. You want me to move your plate over? I moved his plate over. So far, Boo's not eating yet, and Splash is not eating yet. They're watching. Splash is trying to walk into the kitchen, but Boo's standing in his way. Well, it seems like Stella likes the food, and it seems like Simba likes the food. Boo's probably waiting for me to put a crunchy on it. So Boo would not eat until I put a few crunchies on it. You could see there's like seven crunchies on it. Now he's eating. And I don't know where Splash is, but Splash will come back and eat. Simba ate a little bit and then he left. Stella pretty much finished her whole plate and now she's moving on to the next plate. I'm gonna let her eat like a few more bites and then I'm gonna take it away. Because one plate is one serving. She can't be eating other cats food. Okay Stella, you're just about done. It's nice to know that Stella likes the food. Splash is eating his food in the living room because he did not want to go into the kitchen and I'd rather him eat his food than Stella eat it. So Boo walked into the living room and he started eating Splash's food. So I picked up what was left of Splash's food. I came back into the kitchen and look what we have here. Stella's eating Boo's food. This is what I'm feeding Hydrox. Uh, this is what's left of the homemade raw food. I just want to see if he eats it. And then this is Trader Joe's tuna for cats. I've added water to both and herbs. And here's Hydrox. He's laying in the sun. There's a dry area by the house. He hasn't really been meowing at me. He gave me a little meow as a hello, but that was it. I'm going to give you some food. You want some breakfast? Would you like some breakfast? I put the plate of food over here closer by him so I could refill the water and clean up the other area. Right now it's 11.53 a.m. And I had looked outside a while ago and all the tuna was gone from the plate. So I assumed Hydrox had eaten that even though I went outside and I didn't see him on the patio. He obviously went somewhere else and it looks like he just came back and now he's eating the raw food. There's a lot of birds that have been outside, but I know the birds did not eat all the tuna. There's no way the birds ate all that tuna. Now the raw food, the homemade raw food has bones in it, which is good for Hydrox's teeth.
He definitely has a good appetite. One of the ways that you know cats are really sick is when they don't have an appetite. In nature, when cats or any kind of animals are really sick, they go into a mode of fasting and they let their bodies heal themselves naturally. So um, when they stop eating, when they start fasting, what happens is their body uses all of its energy to heal itself. That's why when someone's sick, you never really should force food on them because even humans, like we naturally know not to eat when we're sick. Hijax finished his food. It is 7.12 p.m. I just got home. And as I was walking across the patio, Hydrax walked out of the shelter and then he started meowing. And there is a possum in the feeder. Right now there's a possum in the feeder. And did you see Hydrax? He's talking to me. Like he just looked right at me and he's meowing. Meanwhile, Boo's inside and Boo's right here and Stella's right here. Okay, Hydrax, I'm going to give you some food, okay? Would you like some food? I'll give you some food, okay? Look at what's going on here. Both Boo and Splash have their noses at the door because Hydrox is on the other side. I just brought a plate of food outside to Hydrox and this plate's gonna blow away very easily because it is so windy out and I'm giving him freeze-dried raw, fr a freeze-dried rabbit nugget and some freeze-dried chicken bites. Here you go, Hydrox. I'm going to put it in the corner here. So I wedged it between two pieces of patio furniture. Hopefully he'll eat it before the wind kicks up. It is super cold out right now, like really, really cold. It was nice because a few days it was above freezing. And now it feels like... Uh, the weather dropped again but maybe not I think it might just be the wind I don't know why but it is ridiculously windy today and I feel like the wind just came out of nowhere today I remember looking out the window going where did that wind come from so I'm just gonna keep an eye on this and um, I'm gonna go inside and then I'll come back out in a few minutes and I'll see how much he ate. I just gave Hydrox another one of the reconstituted rabbit nuggets, but he like smelled it and then he walked away. So I guess maybe he doesn't like rabbit. I just gave Hydrox some turkey baby food with some herbs in it. I figure if he likes squeeze ups, he might like that. And I hope he eats it fast before the wind blows it away. These plates are very light. There's like plates all over the yard right now. I have to clean them up tomorrow, but look, he's eating the baby food. That's good. I gave him like half of a jar. And he did eat some of the raw food that I put out. Oh my gosh, this wind. This wind is bad. And it's only December. And I feel like I just heard a cat meow. Not Hydrox, he's not meowing, but I feel like I heard another cat meow. I don't see any other cats. It sounded like it was coming from another yard, though. Well, Hydrox really likes that. I might end up giving him the rest of the, the jar. Yeah, he's going to push that plate around. I found this stainless steel plate with grippers on the bottom, so uh, this should be good. This should not blow away, and I just put the rest of the baby food in here along with some crushed up freeze-dried chicken bites. Okay, I just put the bowl out for Hydrox so he can eat with some dignity. And I gave him the rest of the baby food along with some freeze-dried bites. And Hydrox is looking really good today. He seems to be in really good spirits today. And he has not been meowing that much, which is good. I mean, he was meowing a lot by the back door when he wanted to eat. And I was talking to Grandma Farrell today, and she told me that last night, all of a sudden she heard like this cat meowing and meowing and meowing by her front door. And she's like, what's going on? And she opened the front door and it was Buddy 
and Buddy was just meowing and meowing and meowing for food, so she gave her or him some food, and then the cat quieted down and went away. So she said it reminded her of Hydrox. Hmm, Hydrox likes the food. He's eating very well also. Look at that, Hydrox licked that bowl clean. So right now I am giving him about half of a can of Trader Joe's tuna. I added a bunch of warm water to it and kind of made it more soupy. And there he goes. He went over to the tuna and he's eating the tuna and then this is it. That's a lot of food. He had a freeze dried rabbit nugget. Um, and then there's still one out there that he has not eaten. He had some of the freeze dried raw chicken bites. Then he had a whole jar of turkey baby food. He had more freeze dried chicken bites. Now he's having half of a can of Trader Joe's tuna. So to me, it appears that Hydrox is actually starting to like raw food more considering I saw him eat the leftover raw food that I put out for him this morning and he's eating the freeze dried raw food. I would really like to transition him over to a raw food diet because it is much better for his health. Obviously I can't control everything he eats. Like he's free to eat whatever he wants outside. And if there are any other neighbors or any other houses that put food out for him, you know, he's free to eat that also. And that's why, you know, I've never fed the outside cats a lot of raw food. You know, they could just hunt and get their own raw food. Also um, with Stella, the kittens and Boo, it was always, that was their incentive for coming inside because they got the better food and uh, they like the raw food better. But Hydrox really likes tuna, he really likes squeeze ups and he is now open to eating freeze dried raw and we'll see how he does with the homemade raw. He ate some of it today. The thing is the homemade raw is a lot cheaper to make which makes it a lot more feasible to feed five cats raw. The problem is that my freezer is really not big enough like to freeze all this food. So I'm gonna have to start looking into maybe one of those chest freezers. I saw one in Best Buy the other day. It was like a five cubic foot freezer, but it was just like way too big. I have no idea where I would put that, but I've heard that they have smaller ones so I need to like look into the smaller ones. I think I'm going to go to PC Richard sometime and see if they have any smaller ones on display so I can get an idea of how big or small one of them are and then figure out where could I put one because uh, this house is getting smaller by the day. Oh, there goes Hijox. He had enough food. You probably ate like half of that. We had a live stream today and I want to give a shout out to Crypto Mikey Michigan for the $4.99 super chat. Thank you so much Crypto Mikey. That is so nice of you to donate to the cats. The cats are going to get their new crocheted mice today. And Boo has decided he wants the purple one which was for Simba. He's going crazy over it. And Stella and Simba are here. Stella, this is your pink one. And you could have this one. Or do you want this one? Which one do you want? Pick one that you want, Stella. You could have your pick. Here comes Splash. Stella just ran away. Splashy. You want a mouse? I just gave a mouse to Splash. Yeah. You want to lay on it? <laughs> you just going to lay on it? Yeah. You want your mousey? Boo. Boo, you playing with your mouse?
Boo loves his mouse. Splash just came up to Boo and swatted at him. Simba just wants to hang out with his mouse. Stella has her mouse on the scratch and roll. Boo's sitting with his mouse on the scratch and roll. Simba's sitting with his mouse. All right, Boo, that's what you're getting tonight. You're getting a mouse. The other cats are looking at him like, what are you doing? They're staring at Boo. <laughs> Thank you for watching this Lucky Earls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.